Welcome back guys to another video and today we're playing some more Total War Warhammer. It's been a while since I've uploaded and I do apologize. But before we take a look at this mod, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent in their battle replays. I'm going to start recording some when I have some time. Uh, right now it's pretty difficult because my house is like full with people all the time and it's really loud. Uh, and I, you know, I'll, I'll see if I can get around to uh, recording some of them soon. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at a mod because these are nice and short and I can do these quite quickly. Uh, if you haven't sent any replays in for any Total Wars yet, please do so. Look at the video before this one, it'll tell you how to do it. But let's go take a look at this mod. So we're looking at a glory mod for Total War Warhammer. This one is for the Empire. And it adds quite a few new units to the game. And I've seen a lot of these glory mods popping, uh, popping up on the workshop. And I thought it might be nice to take a look at some of them in more depth in the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at these first couple units here. These are some archers and these are the three company longbows. These guys look pretty cool. Very kind of peasanty look to them, but they still look nice and unique, which is nice to see. There's been a lot of new mods coming up on the workshop and I can't wait to get back into doing some. Uh, we have some Gorilla Sharpshooters. We'll take a look at all the stats at the end. I'm pretty sure these guys have really good accuracy, but they look really cool. Kind of like a light infantry unit. Uh, placed behind them, we have some free company reserves, kind of like peasants. These guys have some swords. Really, really nice. Behind them, there are some Foot Dragoon Lancers. These guys look really, really cool. Really does remind me of like Napoleon Total War with the Lancers with their helmets like this. Uh, looks really, really nice. Should be interesting to see how they do in battle. I think it's pretty unique how they have shields on the back as well. I really do like this mod so far. Uh, so behind them we have some Foot Right Scarred Knights. Pretty cool. I think we looked at a mod similar that actually added uh, Right Scarred Foot Knights as well to the game. So we'll just head over to the next one. Uh, we have some Foot Knights of the Blazing Sun. These guys look really badass. There's a couple of different helmet variations. You've got kind of like a skull one, and then you have like more of a you, you know normal knight kind of helmet with some flames uh, coming up. Really, really nice. Really cool looking unit. Gold and black. You know, I like that a lot. Behind them are some Dragoon Veterans, and these guys have like a pistols and also a sword. Pretty cool. Uh, I should be interested in how they actually do in battle. I wonder if they actually use the sword and the pistol at the same time. That'd be pretty cool if they do. Uh, behind them we have some Cavalry. These are some Dragoon Outriders. And again, nothing really special. These are more kind of just mounted rifles. And we have some Dragoon Lancers, which are really cool. Again, kind of reminded me of Napoleon Total War. And finally, the last unit is this really beef unit called the Immortals. These guys are really, really OP, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage in uh, this battle today. So let's go take a look at the uh, the army that we're going up against. We'll go ahead and click Start. And I think they're currently hidden. Yeah, I think they're currently hidden. So we're going to have to push up a little bit here. But we are going up against some Dwarfs. So we will see how we do. We'll just quickly run this way. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for not uploading in like a week. Uh, I, it's, it's just been very difficult to do so. Also, we're on the new map, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty difficult to have time to actually record and stuff like that. So I'm trying to find as much time as I possibly can to actually do it. So I do apologize. But uh, hopefully these little mod reviews can come back into swing because I do miss doing these. They're quite fun. Uh, so this is the Dwarf Army, just a bunch of Dwarf Warriors, and then there's also a uh, hero or a lord in there somewhere. I think it's just a, yeah, it's just a Dwarf Lord, nothing too special. Uh, so let's get, can we get all of our rifle units, we'll just put them along here. And then we'll get all our spear units and kind of melee units behind them. And we'll get these immortals on the left. And then maybe we'll have our cav on the right as well. Okay. So let's see what these guys can do. These sharpshooters should be pretty interesting to see how they they play. I think they have the same range as normal riflemen. Same range as these longbows. Of course, because you don't normally actually get kind of bowmen in uh, the Empire. By default, you get crossbowmen and uh, riflemen. Uh, what are these? These are the free company reserves. Let's move them up to the left. And we will put our lord in the middle. Yes, look at these sharpshooters. Early on, getting a couple of hits on these dwarf warriors. Really accurate. And here comes the longbow volley. Very nice. They're just kind of gunning these dwarves down. You've got the, the arrows stuck into the dwarven shields. Those sharpshooters are really ripping them apart. Uh, I wonder what the ranges of these... Okay, so these guys are about to be in range. These... 
One of these the Dragoon veterans. Let's see if they're gonna do it. Yep, there we go. With their pistols. Okay, so let's now pull back our ranged infantry. We'll send in these guys here. Send in our right guard, dismounted guys. Uh, whether these guys are, I don't know what they are. And then the Rising Sun Knights. What are these? These are the Foot Dragoon Lancers. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the charge. Oh, look at that. What an epic charge from those right guard. And, of course, the Knights of the Rising Sun. Really nice. Let's see if we can get these Immortals maybe in combat on this left flank. And we'll also get our cavalry coming round on the right here. There's the Dwarven Lord. Getting stuck in there against the uh, Dragoons. Yep, the Dragoons. Well, these the... Yeah, Foot Knights of the Blazing Sun, not Rising Sun, sorry. The Foot Right Scarred holding on. Gonna have to get a Cav Charge in the back here. Here we go. Let's see if they can sway this battle. I think the Blazing Sun guys should be okay. Alright, let's pull off these Free Company. And send in the Immortals, because I really want to see how they do in battle. Here they come. Oh my god. They're like huge. They're just basically giant right guards. It's pretty cool. They have these huge axes, like kind of magical axes. Very nice. This guy's like a double, double uh, handed, or dual wielding uh, hammers even. Alright, so the cavalry have actually charged in to the back here, these Dragoons. I really do like the look of these Dragoons. It is really nice. It kind of gives you a glimpse of what a uh, Napoleon Total War could look like on this new engine. Uh, kind of the playstyle and stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. What do you think the next uh, historical title is going to be for Total War? Alright, so it looks like the Immortals have chased those guys off. Let's get them stuck into this battle as well. Uh, along with some of those free... What are they? I can't remember what they are. The free company reserves. These peasants. Yeah, but yeah, these Dragoons, very nice looking, really, really cool. Yeah, it's like I said, new map, very nice. Uh, you're just outside of the castle here. Um, see, it'd be so cool if you could have, like, battles on these castles and stuff, but you just can't. It's so annoying, because it'd be really epic. Uh, where are we? We're over here. There we go. Just a scatter of dwarven bodies laid across the battlefield. There's the victory. And there we go. What an awesome mod. Let's go take a look at the stats. We'll click End Battle. And uh, there we go. End Battle. And we'll take a look at the stats here. So, we deployed 611. We lost 49. They deployed 451. They lost 214. The unit that did the best, it looks like, was these Foot Knights of the Blazing Sun. Because they are pretty cool. So, they're very nice. They're a really cool unit. Uh, let's see what did the best for them. Uh, it was actually the Lord. So there we go, let's take a look at the stats. I'll go to unit info. We have the free company reserves, there you go. Apparently, you know, they're expendable because they are kind of peasanty. Uh, you have some of these Foot Dragoon Lancers. Uh, the Foot Knights of the Blazing Sun. The Rights Guard Knights. The Immortals, look how OP those guys are, really cool. Um, and then we have some of these Longbows. And some Gorilla Sharpshooters, some Dragoon Veterans. Dragoon Lancers, and then the Dragoon Outriders. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little mod showcase, and I will see you guys next time.